A Corpus Christi woman wants her money back and then some in a fight with the tax preparation service. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Drew Spire. And I'm Sonia Hill. She says she's now gotten three letters from the IRS, but that tax service just isn't helping her out. Action 10 News reporter Seth Kobar joins us now live in our studio. So, Seth, how much money are we talking about here? Well, Drew, it's not a huge sum at all, $350, but Roxanne Perez also says the problems she has with the IRS are keeping her from getting any income tax returns that the agency may owe her. That's why I tried to talk to the woman behind the tax preparation service to see what's going on. That was my welcome tonight when I tried to speak to Michelle of Michelle's Tax Service in Corpus Christi. It was right after I met and spoke with Roxanne Perez about the problems she says she's having with that company. I should have gone with my gut feeling, you know, because sometimes I, when I went, I took her my paperwork, I kind of had a feeling or something that I was probably going to have some kind of problems with her. She says those problems include long periods without return phone calls and text messages, and now letters from the IRS detailing issues with her tax returns. Angry, uh, you know, and kind of sad because I did give her chances. So today she reported the tax service to the Better Business Bureau. We start to see the, uh, these, these tax scams where people go to get their taxes done by someone that they think is legitimate, but they didn't check them out. The BBB's regional director for our area, Kelly Trevino, says before you choose a tax service, look them up on the organization's website, BBB.org. It's absolutely free. You can check to see if they're a legitimate tax service. Um, if they are, then they're going to be listed. Michelle's tax service is not listed, and I couldn't find a website or a Facebook page for the company either, which isn't giving Roxanne any answers. Just give me my stuff back. Why? Is she, I mean, you know, uh, she shouldn't, if she wasn't going to want to do the taxes, she shouldn't shouldn't have taken our money and taken our information or anything like that. So I, wanted, I just want my stuff back. Now another reason to research tax services before picking one, all of that sensitive information you're just handing over to them that they could use for purposes other than your tax returns. And Trevino with the BBB says anytime you're handing over your social security number or especially your kids numbers, make sure the company has a good reputation. Reporting live in the studio, Seth Kovar, Action 10 News.